This video was made possible by Patreon and by the contributions of viewers like you. Thank you. 2018's God of War makes a big deal of the fact that an entire game is framed in one continuous take. Comprised of an extended shot, uninterrupted by cuts, the long take, or one -er, has gained a certain reputation in film due to the technical difficulty required in capturing it. In an episode of the video essay series, Every Frame of Painting, Tony Zhao described the long take as something critics and film students get raging hard-ons for. And yeah, there's definitely a masturbatory quality to it. So I can see why a game in the AAA space, which often deeply values technical achievement, would pitch God of War's long take as yet another technical feat it's mastered. I mean, sure, you did a two-hour film in one take, but how about a 30-hour game? But while there's an element of forethought needed to achieve this, it's just not as impressive in an all-digital environment. Long takes in film require actors, cameras, and special effects to all achieve the right timing and movement to capture certain compositions and keep a scene on pace. With digital animation, all of this can be edited after the fact. Performances can be redone, movements adjusted, and every part of the environment is controlled. It can be cool, but the same awe isn't there. And with any shot, when the question of how goes away, there's the more important question of why. God of War doesn't really have an answer for this, aside from because we can. Long takes can be used to hold a moment, to provide exposition, linger on a certain emotion, or bring tension to a scene. God of War has moments where it dips into this, but often it shows a lack of consideration for the purpose of the long take. The runtime is dominated by the gameplay's over-the-shoulder camera. This prevents more structured compositions and lends a visual monotony that imbues it with a sense of fatigue. Weirdly, it also undoes a lot of the work the series did to the opposite effect. Previous games had a strong emphasis on unique, fixed compositions and used them to emphasize the scale of encounters. God of War tries to have encounters of the same scale while having a more grounded viewpoint, and it only serves to undercut both elements. You can make the argument that the long take is supposed to reflect the exhaustion Kratos feels at the constant impediments to his journey, but that's uh, kind of undone by how Atreus keeps shouting reminders of all the side activities you can do. Also telling are the people who've said they wouldn't have even noticed the long take unless it was pointed out. That's partly the implementation, partly the lack of thought for the language of games. The upgrade screen turns towards Kratos to keep him in the shot, but the map, character menus, death, or even just ending a session all break continuity with the shot. And if you leave consideration for those criteria as being outside of the canonical one-shot, then it begins to feel a lot less unique. Games already center the player's view in their pursuit of immersion. If you disregard death in menus, then games like Skyrim or Half-Life can be considered to be made of a series of long takes. Games like Tomb Raider and Uncharted place a similar emphasis on seamless movement between player control and cutscenes, with plenty of their own long, uninterrupted scenes. We're already used to a lot of the visual language God of War employs, and arguably seen it done in other games with a better sense of rhythm and pacing. In that context, its achievement is more in disguising loading screens and its stubborn refusal to show another viewpoint. That singular viewpoint reveals God of War's lack of attention to the narrative implications of a long take. Long takes can be surprisingly flexible, forfeiting control of a scene to different actors, moving to different vantage points, including or excluding information. God of War almost always keeps Kratos' viewpoint centered. Even when it diverges from it, it does so in relation to Kratos. This gives Kratos control, giving him the only legit point of view, and justifying his methods and worldview above others. And for a game ostensibly about interrogating Kratos through the eyes of others, the camera shows an almost singular interest in Kratos alone. 